you could take your presence on Zoom lightly, then think again. So I will give you top six tips, but do consider becoming an annual member on my subscription platform to see all my 15 or I think 16 guiding tips that can transform your image, your confidence and people's opinion on your video conferencing platforms like Zoom, Google Meet, and I'm pretty sure you know many others. Let's get started. Welcome to Blush With Me. For those of you who may still wonder why do I need to be better on virtual meetings, here is why. Seeing someone on Zoom doesn't give you that personal connection. It doesn't give you any idea about what the lower half of your body is doing or communicating through body language. We communicate so much through our outfits, on how we walk into a room when our eyes meet the other person, how you speak. You cannot see much of that on a Zoom call. You can touch the other person, you can't give high five, there is no empathy like you have in person. So how can you create not only a connection but an impression on a Zoom call, be it one-on-one -on -one or in a group? If you have ever felt invisible during these calls or you feel that the attention is always on somebody else, then you can be that somebody. Knowledge about a certain topic you may have, but not feeling confident in the way you present yourself is a reason people shy away and lose that opportunity to shine. If this is you, then I know you're going to stick around because this video is loaded with so much information and such simple tips that are guaranteed to not only bring the attention to you, but also make you that memorable person even after the call ends. Especially that last tip is the most ignored one but can be a complete game changer to your confidence. So if so you, if have, you the have the courage, courage to shine, to shine and, and you, you want, want to get, to get closer, closer to achieving whatever you want, or just improve your presence on camera, then here is tip number one. I'm Parmita Kartkar and I am your self-image transformation coach and I help you create and define your personal brand. If you want to be your own role model, then hit that subscribe button and let's begin. Tip number one, keep your camera lens of your laptop above your eyes. Whatever is closest to the camera looks the biggest. So if your camera lens is below your eyes, which is how I mostly see it, this makes your double chin the focus of attention. I do face yoga, so I don't have that issue. Do check out some of those videos. I will link my face yoga list up here, but have the attention drawn to the most expressive part of your face, which are eyes. So if your camera lens is in line with your eyes and you lean slightly into the lens, your eyes get all the attention. Make sense? Here comes tip number two. Watch these two clips carefully. In one, I'm looking down at the video and in the other one, I'm looking up at the camera lens. To create better eye contact, look into the lens instead of looking down at people or at yourself in the video below. When speaking, when you create a better eye contact, people are bound to look at you and they're bound to listen to you better. Or while listening, if you maintain a better eye contact, the speaker knows that he has your attention. Tip number three, too close to the lens can make the closest facial feature look like the biggest. This happens due to lens distortion. Now too far from the camera and no one can see you. So sit at a distance where you have the scope to use your hands, your upper body, your eyes to communicate. You should be able to lean in a little bit when you're speaking to give others an opportunity for a better eye contact. For this next tip, I actually want you to get away from your camera for a few minutes before you actually get on Zoom call. Look at yourself in a power pose in front of a mirror. This helps you open up your body and if you have a natural tendency to slouch or hide away, this pose before a video conference helps you maintain that power posture even during the call. And what happens when you look strong? You look confident and when you look confident, people trust you more. And what happens when people trust you more? They come to you for answers. If you want to be perceived more as a leader, then try this not just in Zoom calls, but even in person. I'm Parmita Katkar and as your self-image transformation coach, I help you create a very strong personal brand and manage your impression the way you never did before. If you want to establish a strong personal brand and communicate through your self-image even before you speak a word, then I invite you to click the link below to join my upcoming masterclass, Discover Your Four Personal Brand Styles to become the 2.0 version of yourself. Do check out a list of my other videos where I help you become a better version of 
especially women because I know in today's world women are trying much harder to make a place for themselves. How do you change your impression is completely in your hand. You can come to me so I can help you learn the ropes in becoming your own role model. Before we move on to the next tip, do make a note of my website parmitakartkar.com if you want more of that one-on-one -on -one connection. Check out my playlist that says watch yourself change to catch up on my super helpful self-transformation videos. So head straight for the next tip. So head straight versus head tilted. When you need to be firm, keep your head straight. And when you want to show empathy, tilt your head slightly. You saw how I tilted my head even when I used the word empathy. Let me give you an example. So the first one with head straight. I would like this done by tomorrow. I would like this done by tomorrow. Comment. I'm sure a lot of you are going to try this right now. So pull your phones out, try it and let me know your experience. So here comes my favorite tip that I told you I've saved for last. So this one actually completely changes your body language and it's not about what you wear on your top but it's also about what is not seen. And by that I mean instead of wearing pajamas or slippers underneath, wear the right trousers or skirt or work shoes. Apart from adding confidence and authority in your presence and in your voice. This completely changes the way you view and approve any situation. Watch this video again if you like my suggestions and then save it and watch it again at least three to four times till these guiding tips become natural to you. What you wear on video calls is a completely different topic but very relevant to what I talked about today. I often see people distract not only the other person or other people but also themselves because of what they wear. I'm going to give you my list of do's and don'ts on that video, but if you have your suggestions on what to or what not to wear on video conference calls, then please write them down in the comments below. If I choose your tip, then I will give you a shout out when I mention your tip. See, this is just one of the ways of becoming a closer part of this community. To see the true impact of what a community support can provide, I suggest you become a supporting member on my subscription platform. I will be hosting my next live stream very soon, so do join before that. Do hit the like and that subscribe button to this channel if you haven't already. I will look out for your comments in the comment section below. I may not be able to respond to all the comments, but I do read all of them. So keep your comments positive, your supportive comments, your suggestions, all of them coming. Follow me on all my other social media platforms that are also linked below. I'm signing off for today, but I hope you will be here next week. You blush with me.